In today's video, I will guide you step by step through setting up Terraform to connect your Azure environment. Let's dive right in. To make this work, there's a bunch of prerequisites for Terraform on Azure. You'll need an Azure subscription, which you can sign up for. You also need to install the Azure CLI so you can authenticate your Terraform scripts. This will help you interact with your Azure resources. Of course, you'll need to install Terraform binaries on your machine so you can head over to the Terraform website for the latest version. You can use any text editor, but I recommend VS Code with the Terraform extension to make life easier. I have all these prerequisites met and I'm going to move on to the next step. So first thing first, we need to set up a directory for our Terraform configuration files. I'm gonna create a folder in my C drive and I'll call that as Terraform for Azure. I'll open this folder and inside this folder, I will add a file called main.tf. So I'm gonna right click and select text document and I'll name this as main.tf instead of a text file. I'm okay to change the file name extension, select yes. Now this file will host all the commands and modules for deploying resources in Azure. So I'm back in VS Code, click on file and select open folder. I will navigate to my C drive and select Terraform for Azure. Click on select folder. All right, you'll see a new folder on the left side called Terraform for Azure. Perfect. So to run Terraform commands and interact with Azure, we need to open a terminal. For that, select the terminal menu and select new terminal. This is where we run our commands. Now that everything is set up, let's log into our Azure account using the terminal. This is how Terraform will authenticate and manage resources in your Azure environment. So I'm gonna type in az space login. So that's the Azure CLI command to connect to Azure. I'll press enter. All right, a browser window will open up for you to log into your Azure account. So I'm gonna select my Azure account and select continue. Okay, now it will retrieve and list the tenants and subscriptions to which my account has access. In my case, I only have one subscription so I'm going to select that. So I'll type one and press enter. All right, so this is it. This is how you set up your project, connect your Visual Studio Code to Azure and log into the Azure using the CLI. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can create and deploy Azure resources using Terraform. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more Terraform tutorials. See you next time and happy coding.